Hello and welcome to this guided tour of the Office 365 Support Central app. With the Office 365 Support Central app, it is now easier than ever to find answers and get help. The Office 365 Support Central app is divided into three sections. Search, where administrators and end users can find Office 365 content. Community, where administrators and end users can post questions to the Office 365 community and track replies. And service, where administrators can view notices from the Service Help dashboard, message center, and planned maintenance. This section cannot be accessed by end users. From the navigation bar displayed on the home page, you can ask a question in the Office 365 support community or access the Service Help dashboard. You can also learn more about the app, rate the app in the Windows Phone store, or sign in. You must sign in to access the community and service sections of the app. Due to technical limitations, the community section and service section each have a separate sign-in, so you will need to sign in twice to access the community section and the service section. Clicking the tile options will also redirect you to the sign-in page for each section. If you signed in when you last used the app, then you won't have to sign in again until you manually sign out. We will learn more about the sign-in experience later. The fastest way to solve a service issue is to find relevant how-to and troubleshooting content. You can find the relevant content using the search feature in the Office 365 Support Central app. You can perform a search from the home page of the app. You are not required to sign in to perform a search. Administrator users and end users can perform a search at any time. Enter a keyword or phrase into the search box and choose Go. The search results are displayed in the pivot page. You can view all content types, help and support articles, wiki pages, forum posts, and blog posts. To view something that interests you, just tap it and the content will load. Using the navigation bar, you can jump to the home page, service help dashboard, message center, or plan maintenance sections of the app. Let's go back to the home page. If content from the search results doesn't help, it's recommended that administrators check service health, planned maintenance, and administrative messages before posting a question to the Office 365 support community. To view the service sections of the app, swipe to the left on the home page until you see the service options. Service Health displays service interruptions or outages that pertain to your Office 365 subscription. Plan Maintenance displays upcoming maintenance events. And Message Center displays communications about new service features and actions. Let's take a look at Service Health. To access the service sections, you must sign in as an administrator using your work or school account. A Live ID cannot be used. Furthermore, end users cannot access the service sections of the app. The Service Health page displays all of your Office 365 services and their current status. Choose the Information icon to view the status icon definitions. Choose any of the services listed to view additional information. Incident details is truncated but can be viewed by choosing Show More. You can jump to the Message Center and Planned Maintenance sections of the app from the nav bar. Let's jump to Planned Maintenance. If you have already signed in to the service section of the app, you will not be asked to sign in again unless you sign out. The planned maintenance page displays upcoming maintenance events by service, the status of each event, and the start time. Choose any of the maintenance events listed to view additional information. Maintenance details is truncated but can be viewed by choosing show more. You can jump to the service health and message center sections of the app from the nav bar. Let's jump to Message Center. If you have already signed in to the service section of the app, you will not be asked to sign in again unless you sign out. The Message Center page displays recent message ID, title, category, and date. Choose any of the messages listed to view additional information. Message details is truncated but can be viewed by choosing Show More. Let's go back to the home page by clicking Home from the nav bar. You can also jump to Service Health and Plan Maintenance sections of the app. You should ask a support question or start a discussion in the Community section of the app 
If you determine that your issue isn't caused by a service health incident, plan maintenance, or message center notice, and you were also unable to find a solution using search. To view the community sections of the app, swipe to the left on the home page until you see the community options. Ask a question displays a form that you can fill out to ask a question or start a discussion in the Office 365 support community. View your questions. Displace all of the questions and discussions that you've started in the community. Let's ask a new question. To ask a question, you must sign in using your work or school account. You can also use a Microsoft account, previously known as a Live ID. Administrators and end users can sign into the community and ask a question at any time. Enter the username and password and choose Sign In. This is an entirely separate sign in than the service section of the app. Users who sign in to the Office 365 community for the first time are automatically registered for the community. You might also see a message confirming that you've registered for the Office 365 community and you will be redirected to the Ask a Question page. When asking a new question, you must choose the forum where you want to post your question. You must choose whether your post is a question or a discussion. Questions will have the option to have verified answers. We will talk about this later. Enter a subject for your question or discussion. Enter a description into the text box. Be descriptive and include all error messages when possible. Press enter on your virtual keyboard when done or click the post button from the bottom of the page. The app redirects you to the Your Questions page and lists all of the previously submitted posts, questions, and discussions. If you create a new question or discussion less than five minutes after registering for the community, your post will be moderated for approval by the community administrative team and will not be immediately displayed in the Your Questions page. The newest posts are listed at the top. Choose the information icon at the top to view definitions for the question status icons. If you create more than 10 questions or discussions in the community, the pagination buttons at the bottom of the page will be enabled so that you can navigate between all of your posts. Click one of the posts to view the replies for that post. The post details page displays the original question or discussion post, the date, and whether the post has a verified answer or is unanswered. Post details are truncated but can be viewed by choosing show more. Replies are also displayed along with the poster's username and reply status. If the post is a question, the Verify Answer button is displayed. Only press the Verify Answer button if the reply answers your original question. After you confirm that the reply answered your question, the question status and reply status is updated to Verified Answer. You can also reject the Verified Answer if you later find that the reply didn't answer your question. Choose the Reply button from the nav bar to add a reply to the post. Enter a description into the text box and choose Post from the bottom of the page. The Post Details page is refreshed with your reply at the bottom. When done, you can sign out from all sections of the app by choosing the ellipse from the nav bar and choosing Sign Out. You will be redirected to the main page and will need to sign in again to access the community or service sections of the app. This wraps up our guided tour of the Office 365 Support Central app. Thank you so much for installing and using our app.